to Science with Mira. Today I have an exciting experiment with a blast. Yes, that's right. Explosion or a very flammable reaction. Let's be mad scientists today, shall we? So put your science goggles on and dive in. I'm just kidding, don't put them on now. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Explosion or a very flammable reaction. Flammability is the ability of a material to react rapidly with oxygen from the air and to release heat and light. <laughs> Usually we call this reaction as fire, but in chemistry it is called an exothermic one. This is an exothermic reaction, for example. We shall get hydrogen from the substances that everybody usually has at home. Hydrogen, as if you don't know, or it's just a reminder, is the first element uh, in the periodic table. We need aluminium foil. Uh, I have four bits here and some foil here. And a liquid solution for pipe blockage removal. Here it is. But. I am kind of scared of it. <laughs> uh, which contains sodium hydroxide. That's why I'm scared of it. When we drop aluminium foil pieces into the solution, let's do that right now. Oh, guys, by the way, can I do a spoiler, please? Uh, when the hydrogen reacts, this thingy will become black. Sorry. <laughs> Aluminium pieces react with sodium hydro uh, with sodium hydroxide to produce a new substance called sodium aluminate. If you've never heard of it, it's well this substance which is boiling right now. This new substance will release free hydrogen because aluminium react with uh, the obviously sodium hydrate hydroxide sorry and water then the reaction results in forming sodium aluminate and hydrogen gas evolution the reaction is highly exothermic like fire dangerous so do not try it and uh, try to repeat it at home without adult supervision and even then better do not repeat it at home but I have the reaction here going as you see. It, it's becoming kind of whitish. Now we will put this big one right on top here and hold it. So the hydrogen doesn't go anywhere. Okay, now the hydrogen will collect over here because it is really light. So I have some gas going to be trapped in a minute over here so in the upper container here do you want to check what gas is there in the can well we know that the, uh, the, the air contains mostly nitrogen but other things as well <laughs> which is uh, nitrogen is a lazy sort of gas and inactive so it will not harm you then we have oxygen obviously and carbon dioxide and traces of other non-reactive non-reactive gases but hydrogen is barely present in our atmosphere hydrogen is the most abundant element in our universe that's a fun fact while on earth it is usually present as a combined element not free that is really good as this gas is not only the lightest but also one of the most flammable <laughs> Let's check if we have free hydrogen in our container. Wow. Right, that is hydrogen. Have you seen how flammable the gas is? This gas caused several big tragedies in the beginning of the 20th century when scientists did not really know all the characteristics of this gas. In the 1920s and 1930s, people were traveling by airships or blimps. Those airships were filled with hydrogen gas. 
this gas was easier to produce. But the disaster happened in 1937 when the German passenger airship LZ-129 Hindenburg caught fire and burned out within only 90 seconds or one minute and a half. 36 people out of 97 tragically died in that fire. Since that tragedy, no blimp was ever filled up with that hi hydrogen again, but we can fill a portable just to prove that hydrogen is lighter than air. Please do not repeat this at home if you do not want to cause fire in your house, because it will be giants. Be careful and learn chemistry and physics. It is fun and practical. Then you may be able to do this experiment. That is all for today. I wish you a nice day. It was me, Mira. Bye-bye!